and they're often racing for the uh, QE2 and Bullet Train is fast out as Frankel is restrained on jumping and Bullet Train lasts off down the middle of the race course leading from Dick Turpin and Dubawi Gold who are the first ones to give chase Dick Turpin markedly so uh, Frankel just a little keen head to one side racing on the outside of this stage of acceleration behind these the yellow jacket of side glance who's also pretty free immortal verse under restraint in company with poet's voice so making their way down towards the six furlong point and bullet train is clear by about four to five lengths over dick turpin in second dubawi gold is in third x celebration with frankel in about fourth or fifth place at the moment uh, behind these the blue jacket of poet's voice and then we have the keen side glance and immortal verse is held up at the rear of the field so bullet train out in front still with a clear advantage and now frankel and the group at the center is sent off pursuit of the pacemaker dick turpin and dubawi we goal deciding where they're going to go dick turpin heading towards the stand side uh, x celebration with poet's voice immortal verse and side glance bullet train the pacemaker still has a lead of about five to six lengths frankel is towing up the main group with x celebration poet's voice immortal verse white and green beginning to steal closer two furlongs out the moment of truth as frankel moves alongside bullet train immortal verse in danger of running up the back of the pacemaker frankel is asked to stretch has found two to three lengths for x celebration and immortal Verse, Frankel being held together, X Celebration two lengths down, Frankel now in full cry, X Celebration and Immortal Verse, two quality horses are made to look mere mortals as Frankel remains unbeaten and wins the QE2, X Celebration was second, tight third, Immortal Verse from Dubawi Gold, Dick Turpin then Poet's Voice, next home. However you run a race, at whatever distance, Frankel knows how to read the script and he has remained unbeaten in taking the Queen Elizabeth II stakes at 11 to 4 on. Frankel galloping on through the line as relentlessly as he galloped through the last two furlongs has won for Khaled Abdullah, for Sir Henry Cecil and for Tom Queeley.